So now, as I said, before the, the observer in the fifth dimension moves around and feels under pressure, well, we can see down this channel here that the space, the movement through space, creates pressure. Space, we get the idea of fluidity, of water, of the element water being fluid. And the movement of the fluid creates the pressure. That pressure obviously varies. So there's fi fixed pressure maps, which are objects. And with those, we develop object relations. And, 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 and we have a catalog of all the different objects we know in our particular environment. Now this, I say, is, is the energy, and that energy is the basic thing to do with these objects, isn't it? You know, whether they're still all moving in the environment if we move around with them. And then there is the final, their position. Now this is the position, if you like, of quantum gravity. If you take this as a super pixel in our minds, that we're actually living in a virtual reality that's pixelated. This is the structure of the super pixel, as well as the structure of the ten dimensions we project as well as the, the ten brain areas or, or the, 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 the ten aspects of the function of our body. So there is this development and there's the development here you see if you focus there as the observer because obviously this can be the child or any development, this is a basic process. Focus is on a point, it's moving, it identifies what it is that's moving. And obviously that is then jumped here into its catalogue. Does it want it, does it want it, does it want that object? Is it going to move away? So there's a learning experience that first of all begins with learning to control the attention, to function, to move the attention. And that builds up the idea of different, you know, the narrative, the different places and times, the sounds and the music. <laughs> this is things moving and um, faces, relationships. And then here we have the pressure triangle. The pressure from the, from the fluid, from moving around in the fluid space, from having that that skin, that surface tension. There's the surface tension here now that, that we, we we should like from our nerves really. Um, this is the um, sensitivity and adaptation. We adapt to the pressure, but we're sensitive sensitive to a change. We adapt to the pressure that, that exists. You know, like the tons of earth that are pressing down on us, or ton and a half. And then we respond to a different change, slight change, to give us this touch of the surface tension. And then we move with our hands and feel the object, so we move the objects. This is the flow of things in our consciousness. So we get used to the flow of things and objects that we're feeling. And here is the another, so this is a sense of touch, this is a secondary sense, this is a sense of taste. We stick the shape in our mouth, you know, like, if, like a monkey eating leaves. So we recognize the leaf and recognize whether we want to eat it next time. Or recognize the fruit, the shape. <laughs> Straight to the mouth. Here we have, a, you know, supply and demand. We have a demand for energy. We have a demand for energy. And then the en we have a, get a supply of energy. Obviously, but then we need to look for food to feed the process. Do you see how we're we, we like trained and programmed you know, to, to get the necessary food that gives us the energy so we can function? From the taste, as I said, identifying the objects that we need and then that becomes an instinctive driving force or it can be a matter of choice of choosing which objects, which food, which leaves you want to eat, which are their object shapes in their environment. So then you've got to find their position. Find their position. Hold them with the hands. 
and even the sea. Look at the energy, and we can move around in space time, go to different places at different times to fulfill this need. In those different places at different times, which, well, at all times, we've got the, the, the our attention to recognizing objects, seeing faces, relationships with people, and seeing movement. And they're all coordinated, all set of points. So all the information is contained within one single super pixel.